Hello, Dana here, and welcome to the third part of my my blog here on uh, placement of the uh, drive shaft on a, in this case, uh, 03 Ford Escape. And uh, yesterday I got my shaft back up and uh, went to uh, hook it up to the rear rear axle and uh, went to put my bolts in, and one of them busted off on me. Right in the the the, the roke the uh, yoke receiver, and uh, so I just had to go. I went to a junkyard and I got another one, and then uh, I was just getting ready. To, I was getting ready. Finally, I got the uh, new one on there, and uh, went to lift up the uh, uh, the universal joint and uh, set it into a receiver, and it wouldn't fit. I like you know, okay. I didn't know whether they might have gave me the wrong year or whatever, but uh, it should, you're asking for a Ford Escape, and they should all be the same. Well, I said, well, I'll take a chance, and I'll pull that, because I just, I put new uh, universal joints in it, and that was one of the one of the reasons from the, uh, the reason I had to take it down. Well, come to find out, if you look inside here, if I can get a good shot of it, can you see the rollers? Are the little needles? Let's get this so I can see it. There you go. Okay, maybe you see the needles now. See them laying in there? Well, you need to check. Yeah, uh, they wouldn't sit in the receiver, and uh, there's the reason. The needles fell in. When I don't know, because I never took them apart. Uh, they were already, they were already in the uh, thing. Uh, uh, they were brand new, and I never messed with them. So when I went to put them in a receiver, guess what? There's your needles. So you need to pull those cups off of there and make sure your needles are not uh, haven't fallen in there. So uh, uh, continue on uh, watching and subscribing, and uh, I'll continue here in a few minutes.